Hello everybody! This video will show you how to clean the registry, what programs can be used, and how to do it manually. Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery, and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialists will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. Sooner or later, everyone using a computer faces the problem of its performance getting worse and errors appearing when Windows boots or when you start other programs. In the end, you realize it's time to clean the registry. There are numerous programs to optimize the work of your computer and clean the registry. In this video, we will have a look at the most popular apps. So, let's begin. CCleaner is one of the most popular and well-known tools to clean the computer registry. In addition, it has lots of functions to optimize your PC in every way. They include a system cleaner, a software un uninstaller, and startup management. Its latest versions support uninstalling Windows 10 standard applications. You can download the program from the official website. You can find the download link in the description. First of all, download and install the program, and you are not likely to have any difficulties at this stage. The only important aspect is to check the language settings in the upper right corner. The default language is English. After the installation, run the program, go to the Registry tab, Right-click on Scan for Issues and wait a little. When the scan is over, click on Fix Selected Issues. The program will suggest you to save a registry backup copy, and you should do it to be on the safe side. In case you have any problems, you can always restore the registry to the previous condition. You can save the backup on your desktop, for example. Now click on Fix all selected issues and the registry will be cleaned. Now run the scan again, and you will see that no issues are found. If you use the previously saved backup copy, it is supposed to restore to the registry the data deleted by the application. Wisecare 365 is another program to help you clean the registry. This software package includes a Windows registry cleaner, a hard disk optimizer, as well as other system utilities to make your PC work faster and better. You can find the download link in the description. Run the program and click on System Cleaner to clean the registry. The first line on the list is Registry Cleaner, so click on Scan. After the scan, the program will show you the information on any registry problems. Select Cleaning, and the registry is now clean and sound. The larger your registry grows, the worse your computer performs. Registry cleaner utilities are not an ideal tool for removing unnecessary lines from the registry. It is because they do their cleaning job based on a certain set of rules which may not work with your registry. If you are an expert user, you can clean the registry manually by removing the entries left by the programs that have been uninstalled long ago, or remove programs from the startup section. You should always remember that wrong cleaning can damage your operating system. That is why we recommend manual registry cleaning to experienced users only. Now, before you start it, press the key shortcut Windows Plus R, enter Regedit in the window that opens and click OK. You should always back up your registry so that you can restore everything if things go wrong. Click File, Export. Specify the name and click Save. You can watch one of our videos to see how to restore the registry from a backup. Find the link in the description below this video. If you know the name of the program that has been uninstalled, you can delete the files left behind in the registry or a virus that is hiding there. To do it, click Edit, Find. Enter the program name and click Find Next. 
In the course of the search, we can see a registry file of an uninstalled program, which we don't need anymore. Right-click on it and select the Delete. In addition, you can follow the path HKey – Current User – Software and HKey – Local Machine – Software to view and clean folders of the previously removed programs. If you have a 64-bit operating system, you will also see a folder named WOW6432 node containing a list of installed programs as well. With the Registry Editor, you can also remove entries from the Startup menu. Startup settings deal with two registry keys with the folder Run. In Windows 7 and 10, they can be found by following the path H key, Current User, Software, Microsoft, Windows, Current Version, Run. It is the startup folder of the current user. In the same path, but in the registry key H key, Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows, Current Version, Run, there is also a folder named Run, but this is a startup location for all users. Select the unnecessary program, right-click on it and select Delete. If you suspect there is a virus in your computer, there is a good video in our channel about finding the malware in your registry and removing it. You can find the link to this video in the description. Modifying the registry with Windows Registry Editor is a risky process, as it doesn't have the Cancel function, which you will need when you accidentally remove a good registry key. If you are new to this process, just don't edit the registry manually. And before you start doing it, make sure you have made a backup copy. If you have even the slightest doubts whether you should delete a registry key or not, never delete it. If you are not absolutely sure that you don't need it, you can always look it up on the Internet and decide. That is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to Hetman Software channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching. And good luck!